One thing I work on with students more than anything else is breathing. Am I breathing correctly? And uh, it's really interesting uh, to see the different ways that people do breathe in and out and the effect that it has on their singing. So we're just going to go through a couple of ways that you can improve your breathing and notice if that you're breathing correctly. So the breath that we want to avoid doing, if you watch yourself in the mirror and you sing through something, you take a breath in, are your shoulders moving? There is a lot of tension creeping into my neck when I do that. So you want to make sure that your shoulders are staying relaxed. We don't want them rolling forward. We don't want to push them back, just nice and neutral and like that. And so what we want to do when we breathe in, we want to make sure that we are uh, expanding our ribs. So I'm not saying that you only breathe low. You want to breathe with your whole torso, but we want to make sure that we're not sucking air in. So it's only the top here that's moving. We want to avoid that as much as we can. So what I'm going to ask you to do is have a hand just on your around your tummy button and just below there. And we're going to blow out all of our air to shh as far as we can until you're completely out of air. But what I'd like you to do is feel that your tummy button has been pulled in towards your spine and the top of your ribcage is staying in a proud stance. We want to keep that expanded. So we'll try this a couple of times. Let's just start the first one and really feel your hands coming together through here. Ready, and shh. And then release. And that's what we're aiming for. We call it the bounce back. Well, I call it the bounce back anyway. Um, so when you're completely out of air and you've really pulled in as far as you can down here, we don't want to think about breathing in at that point. We want to think of these muscles releasing. They finally release and it will naturally suck in the air, which means you don't have to work hard at pulling it in yourself. So let's try that once more and really feel for that bounce back at the end. Here we go. Okay, so that's what we want to aim for. Now what we're going to do is move that into a more practical way of, uh, of using it. So we're going to breathe in for two beats and sometimes you will breathe in quicker, slower than this. It's, it's just um, uh, an exercise, so you don't always have to have two beats to breathe in. And then we're going to breathe out to shh for eight beats. During these eight beats, I want you to get to the end of your breath as much as you can by pulling in here and keeping this nice and open and expanded. Okay, so I'll count you through it and we'll do it three times. And each time I want you to think of that breath in as just being a release of muscles down here and then straight back out again. Okay, let's give it a go. And breathing in, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathing in and two, three, four, five, six, seven, once more, breathing in, and shh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that might feel like you're working really hard at that point. It's really good if you're feeling those muscles really working because it's keeping everything up here light, open, and free. The problem when we breathe incorrectly and we're trying to suck in the air uh, is that we end up tensing up up here and we want to keep this as free as possible. What I see quite a few people doing is breathing out from the top of the rib cage. So if you pop your hand there and just notice what, where you're breathing. So are you breathing from down here or here? And I'm going to do it the wrong way and pushing in from the top of my rib cage like this. So if you see, not only does my rib cage come in, but my shoulders start to roll and my posture completely goes. That's a really difficult one to notice sometimes, but just uh, having a hand there, if it starts to just decrease like that and you come inwards, then you know that you're actually pushing in from the top of your lungs, which is what we want to avoid. The breath should always come from here and work its way up. So a way that I um, initially thought about it, becomes more natural as you go through, is to pull in from here and try and keep the rib cage expanded completely. When you're pulled in from here, you can work your way up and your, the bottom of your rib cage will come in a bit as well. So uh, let's just try that with an exercise. So we're just going to do... Ah. 
So that last note, we're going to hold for three beats. I'll do that once more. And then breathe in for one and do the same exercise once more. And it doesn't matter if the notes are wrong or if you're not particularly happy with the intonation. We're focusing on breath for the moment. Let's try that. Three and So for that one, I'm not sure about you, I didn't run out of breath through there, but I could still feel it pulling in from the tummy button to spine through there, still felt the same thing, and then again, that release of muscles. So I hope that gives you a bit of an idea of uh, what we need to do when we're breathing. We want to avoid up here, focus on the core work and muscles working as much as we can, and making sure the shoulders aren't lifting. So those are the indicators that you can uh, you can watch yourself in the, in the mirror, you can film yourself. I know it's not particularly fun, but they are really good indicators uh, and really good ways to improve your breath control, which will help your singing. Um, so if you want to learn a bit more about that or have any questions, then uh, do drop me an email on uh, info at jessicanorton.co.uk or you can write anything in the comments, uh, any questions or anything like that. And in the description is my email address if you're interested in individual singing lessons and the links to my upcoming workshops. Hope to see you there.